Hello and welcome to Koshy's Business Builders. We are passionate about connecting and supporting Australia's small businesses because at some point along the way, every entrepreneur needs a level of guidance to shine, even a gold medalist. Nova Paris is a proud Australian Aboriginal woman. In 1996, she won a gold medal with the Hockey Roos at the Atlanta Olympic Games. In 97, she was awarded Young Australian of the Year and in 98, she won a gold medal in the 200 metres and in the 4x100 relay at the Kuala Lumpur Commonwealth Games. In 2013, Nova was the first Aboriginal woman to be elected to the Australian Federal Parliament. And I've only just scratched the surface of Nova's impressive lift of life achievement so far. For her latest venture, Nova is setting up the Nova Paris Foundation, which is committed to empowering Aboriginal people to achieve life excellence. While the destination is clear to Nova, the steps to get there are not. My relationship and profound love of the Tiwis is, you know, my mum was sent there when she was eight years old as a member of the Stolen Generation, so she lived there from the time she was eight till she was 17. Because of the fact that my mum didn't have the freedom growing up on the mission on the Tiwis to participate freely in sport, and she left the Tiwis when she was 17 years old, and the level of education was that of a year four. So I guess for me, you know, um, maximising opportunity is something that's been inbred in me. You could have all the talent in the world, but if you don't have that desire to dream big and if you don't have that supporting network, you know, it's very hard to get out there and achieve those big dreams. The level of expectations for Aboriginal community is so low. So that was the basis of my foundation, getting it started. When you talk about empowerment of Aboriginal people, it's and sustainability, it's giving them the tools and the resources so that they become self-sustainable. The Nova Paris Foundation is joining forces with Food Ladder to provide remote Aboriginal communities with hydroponic greenhouses and specialised training so they can grow fruit and vegetables and set up their own social enterprise. The Food Ladder greenhouses will be trialled on the Tiwi Islands with plans to roll out the agricultural technology in other remote communities right across the NT. The basis of the food ladder system, the agriculture technology, which is cyclone coded, it's temperature controlled, it's solar panelled, it's water efficient, all the things that make it durable in remote community settings. You can produce enough food in the settings to feed up to 300 people per week with the type of produce that you can grow. What I'm saying is I've got a solution, guys. And this is the solution. You know, it's, it's being able to almost change the face of community living and, um, and bring inspiration to the communities and, and bring jobs into communities. And, you know, on the Tiwis, 85% of the Tiwi people don't have a job. You know, there's, there's a huge lack of unemployment on the Tiwis. We can create up to 30 to 40 jobs in doing what, you know, I, I envisage doing with the foundation work. It's not just the agriculture technology, but it's the smaller farms of it. It's the micro businesses. One of the things I did learn in sports is I had the talent, I had the desire, I had the dedication, but I needed a team around me to enable me to be successful. There's a whole team that enabled me and that hockey team to become successful. I'm here to leave a legacy behind which I want to be greater than any of my sporting achievements and that is to be able to empower communities and to give their young kids hope. What a heartwarming story. After the break, we find out how Aboriginal Investment Group can support Nova Paris to achieve her latest goal. You do not want to miss this. Before the break, we met gold medalist Nova Paris and learnt about her latest venture. Nova is setting up the Nova Paris Foundation and needs help with bringing to life a vision she holds dear. So we sent in the Aboriginal Investment Group, which is committed to providing Indigenous organisations, business owners and budding entrepreneurs any business solutions they need to achieve success. Let's take a look at how AIG has helped Nova. Welcome. 
Everyone, thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, we're all here to drive forward the Nova Paris Foundation and to find wonderful solutions to some challenges that, uh, that the organisation is facing at the moment. From our perspective, we've done our business plan and we had to do that and we've done that over the past 12 months, which we had to use to submit to get our ACNC status. It's like, OK, we've got a business plan. Now we need a strategic plan. And I guess that's why we're here. The strategic plan is sort of inward looking. Uh, the business plan goes to your um, external audience. And usually you use that to get funding. So components of a strategic plan, right? The most important thing you were referring to is that why, OK? So that's that's sort of the, the most important component of your strategic mm. plan. Why am I doing all this? The next one, the next circle is a how. How am I going to do this? And the last one is really the what. What am I doing? The vision statement has to be super short, sharp, extremely emotional. And it needs to capture your audience. Your staff reads it or your stakeholders and then know the journey you're going to take them on. Yeah. Mission statement, it's really like, who am I and what's my approach and what's my objectives? What is your desired future position for Aboriginal communities? To give Aboriginal people hope, opportunities and choices. Communities are wonderful, wonderful places. We, we're looking to enhance them mm. and to, to see some of the kids that may not have to leave community because they can do the mm. things they wanted to do yeah. entrepreneurially there in the community. And it's also really important to think about what's different about your approach because yeah. it has been done many resilient times in communities and why is your solution going to work? One thing it does that the others don't do, mm. it's actually brought underlying cultural obligations and underlying cultural things into it. So right. Nova, to some degree, has got cultural authority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mob know me that I'm just not going for two hours and you don't see me. I sit on the ground, I talk to people, I understand them. What I'm trying to say is I can see through their lens. We have community buy-in. The yeah. community are all on board. I have a board, the letters of support, because we are on Aboriginal land. We've got support from the Tiwi Island Regional yes. Authority and local politicians. I love my sporting analogies, like the great Rick Charlesworth said, in order to get to your Olympic gold medal, our motto was a poco, a poco. Yeah. Little by little. Little by little, you're going to achieve the big things. And I know that if you're, the I's aren't dotted and the T's, you're going to come unstuck. Yeah. And I don't want this to come unstuck. It'll be terrific to see how the Nova Paris Foundation grows from here and the impact it will have on the people of the Northern Territory. Good on you, Nova. We wish you all of the best.